Hey everyone, today I'm doing a Valentine's Day makeup tutorial for you all. This one is going to be pretty natural looking but still kind of smoked out at the same time. I kind of would describe this as like a soft glam look to where you have some rose gold with a really light like um, mauve purple um, brown shade. It's really hard to describe but I feel like it's pretty natural and I feel like it would work on anyone's skin tone so anyone could do this look. Then I went with like a pink colored cheek and then a light baby pink lip. So I feel like this is perfect for Valentine's Day. I feel like this look is perfect for Valentine's Day because it's definitely very soft and romantic. And I am using all drugstore products other than the Coastal Sense Revealed palette. But this palette is really affordable. It's only around $19 and you get 20 eyeshadows so it's just such a great value. They do have a sale for this palette for Valentine's Day so I will link it down below if you're interested in purchasing it. I'm going to have all the products that I use linked on my blog too if you're interested in getting them. At the end of this video I'm also having a giveaway for you guys. I wanted to give back to you all for Valentine's Day. If you guys didn't see my last current favorites video I also did a giveaway in that video. So I have two giveaways going on for Valentine's Day. I've really just been in the mood to share my love with you guys and I think you're really going to like the palette. I'm giving away so definitely stay tuned to the end of the video for that giveaway. So I'm first going to start out by priming my eyes with the Urban Decay Primer Potion. Feel free to skip this if you don't have it and you can go right to the eyeshadow base. So for an eyeshadow base I'm using the Maybelline Color Tattoo in Inked in Pink and I'm just applying this with my finger to my lids. I wanted to give the eyeshadows more of a rosy pink hue so that's why I'm using this underneath but if you don't have it you could just use the shadows. So from my Revealed palette from Coastal Scents, I'm picking up the rose gold shade on the top row and I'm just using a flat shader brush to apply this all over my lid. Then I'm taking this really light champagne like baby pink color and I'm applying that using the same brush to the inner corners of my eyes. This is going to make a nice transition. Then I'm using the shimmery beige color and applying that to the very inner corners of the eye. I also cleaned off my brush in between these steps just so it doesn't get dark in the inner corners. I wanted to keep the inner corners very bright and glowy looking. Now I'm applying this mauve brown purplish color using a synthetic blending brush to my crease. This is an awesome transition color. It looks very natural in the crease and you can build it up to the intensity that you want. I'm just doing a nice wash of color into the crease and I'm kind of making a cat eye on the corner too. Now I'm using a darker taupe shade on a pointed crease brush and I'm just going to focus this on the outer V of my eyes. I want to just deepen it up a little bit but not make it too dark and dramatic. Then I'm just taking the matte highlight shade and applying that to my brow bone using a blending brush. Now I'm going back in with the taupe shade on a pencil brush and I'm applying that to my lower lash line. I'm just going to keep this on the outer corner. Now I'm going back to the rose gold shadow and I'm applying that just to the center of my lower lash line. For eyeliner, I wanted to keep it really soft and natural, so I'm using the CoverGirl Ink It Eyeliner Pencil, and using a pencil creates a much softer look versus a gel or a liquid liner, and that's the look I'm going for, so I'm just going to create a black line on the top. I'm keeping it pretty thin as well. I am going to take that all the way to the inner corner and then wing it out on the end. I'm also connecting that line down to the lower lash line, but I'm not going to take it all the way in. I want my eyes to remain pretty wide open looking. Then I'm just curling my eyelashes. And I'm applying some of the Maybelline Lash Sensational Mascara. I love this mascara. It's definitely one of my new favorites. It gives me a lot of volume and length without clumping up, which I love. Then instead of using false lashes, I'm going to use my unique Moodstruck Fiber Lashes. And I love the 3D Fiber Lashes because it's like a mascara that you paint on your lashes and then you put the fibers on and then you go back over it with the mascara just to seal it in. And it really helps to make your lashes look longer and fuller, but it's still natural looking. It's not too much and I hate dealing with false lashes, so this is a great alternative if you don't like the false lashes. Then for blush, I'm using the Maybelline Master Glaze Blush, and this is in Just Pinched Pink, and I'm using an e.l.f. Small Stipple Brush to apply this to my face. This is my favorite brush for applying cream blush that are in a stick form. Then I'm just blending that out using a synthetic fiber brush. And then I'm taking the Revlon Lipstick in Primrose. This is a really natural pink kind of mauve color. It's definitely a bright baby pink, so I like just applying that to my lips, and then I'm going to top it off with a lip gloss.
Then for the lip gloss, I'm using the CoverGirl Colorlicious Lip Gloss in Give Me Gaba, and this has a really nice sheen to it. I always use this in my tutorials because I just love how glossy it is. It's really comfortable to wear and it's nothing too much. So that's it for my Valentine's Day makeup tutorial. So now for the giveaway, I'm going to be giving away a NYX Waiting for Tonight palette. I saw this palette on Hot Look and I thought it would be perfect for you guys because it has such a variety of different products and stuff and I love NYX Cosmetics. So what you get is 32 eyeshadows, 4 eyebrow powders, 3 concealers, 2 blushers, 4 lip glosses, and 1 bronzer. So this is what the back looks like. It just shows you all the colors. Um, I didn't really want to open it for you guys because I didn't want to open up like what someone's actually going to win. But I will put pictures and stuff on the blog post with this video of the palette. So this giveaway is going to be going on on my social media sites. Since I'm already having one on my channel, that was in my last video. This one is going to be solely on my social media site. So the way I'm going to do it is I will tweet out a tweet about this giveaway and with this video and you're going to have to retweet that tweet in order to be entered. So if you have a Twitter account, you can enter that way. And then I'm also going to have a picture up on Instagram sharing this giveaway and this video too. And all you have to do is regram that post on Instagram. If you're not familiar with regramming, there are a couple different apps that you can use to regram. It's really easy to do. I'll put a link down below for some of the apps that you can use to regram pictures. It's really easy. Um, just download the app and then you just search for my username, which is just Glam Me Up, and you'll find the picture and then you hit regram. It'll take you over to Instagram and you can easily repost it to your feed. And then on Facebook, all you have to do is share the Facebook post. So I will have links down below for all of the three posts for the Facebook, the Twitter, and the Instagram posts for you to share it. So basically your entry is just sharing that post. And also, of course, you have to be following me on those sites, whichever site you use to enter. Make sure you're following my account for that too. So you don't have to enter on all three, you could choose just one of them, you could do two. So if you guys don't have any of those social media sites, definitely contact me like by email or by comment. You can leave a comment down below and I will give you instructions on how you can still enter. But I do prefer you guys to enter on one of those three social media sites or even on all of them if you'd like. So I'm really excited for you guys to try out this palette. I personally don't have it so I'm really jealous. I wish that I could try it out. But the eyeshadows look so pretty. It looks like there's a bunch of neutral shades and then also quite a bit of different color. And it looks like it comes with three little brushes in here too, like three applicators. That's everything for this video. I will have all the rules to enter the giveaway in the description box below. So make sure you check that out so you don't miss anything. The giveaway is going to go on for two weeks so you have plenty of time to enter and share it with your friends. I'll be sure to announce the winner like on all my social media sites as well as in a video too so you guys know who won. I just wanted to wish everyone a happy Valentine's Day and I hope you guys enjoy your day and spend some time either with yourself or the people that you love. So thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to check out my last video and follow me on my social media sites and I'll talk to you in my next one. Bye everyone. Hey everyone, today I'm going to be doing my current favorites and I'm also going to have a really exciting giveaway for Pacifica Beauty. If you guys haven't heard of Pacifica Beauty, it's a really nice